Hi there, Steve here again. And today I want to talk a little bit about online language learning because this has been how, this is the sort of world in which I have been learning languages over the last 10, 12 years. It's very different from when I learned languages 50 years ago. Uh, it has so many advantages and I think some people are not fully aware of these, so I'm going to go through some of them. I think the big thing with online language learning, first of all, it doesn't necessarily replace books. I buy lots of books. I have all kinds of language books. Uh, it doesn't necessarily replace the classroom. Uh, you can certainly enjoy going to a class and still take advantage of online language learning. Online language learning doesn't necessarily mean getting a tutor online, although that is one of the many things you can do if you learn in an online environment. The biggest thing about online language learning is that it puts you, the learner, in control. If you go to a classroom, you're more or less dependent on the teacher leading you through whatever it is the teacher wants to teach you. We're going to do chapter one, we're going to do chapter two, we're going to study verbs today, we're going to do numbers today. Whatever it is, the teacher is in charge. Uh, with online language learning, you seek out what you want. All right. Now, uh, it's important to remember, as Stephen Krashen says, that language learning consists of, or language acquisition, is based on uh, basically accessing meaningful content, meaningful communication. The more meaningful reading and listening you do to messages of interest, content of interest, the sooner you are going to acquire the language. At some point you'll also start speaking. So therefore the principal advantage of online language learning is that you can find so much content online, both audio and text. You can, uh, you know, Google. And I should say that one of the biggest tools, one of the best friends of online language learners is Google. You can Google for grammar resources. You can Google for reading content, listening content, audio books, radio programs, podcasts, whatever you can think of. You can Google in your own language or you can translate it again using Google Translate and then you can Google in your target language in order to find the resources that you're looking for. Google therefore helps you find content. You can Google for any grammar question you have and you'll find hundreds of pages. If you want to Google for Japanese verbs or Romanian nouns or you, I don't know, I've never tried but uh, Vietnamese uh, grammar or whatever you want. You Google, you'll find it. You'll find explanations, you'll find PDF files, you'll find all kinds of things that you might be looking for. And so once you have the initiative, then if you have an issue in a language where you're uncertain about how do the verbs work in this language, you can Google for it and get it now. Get the explanation. You don't need to wait to ask the teacher in the classroom. Google also has text-to-speech. Uh, Google is just an amazing tool. Mind you, there's other text-to-speech as well. Another thing about online language learning is you can find an online tutor and more and more teachers are hanging up their shingles, so to speak, to offer language instruction online. But as an online learner, you can choose how often you want to go and you can have these one on one or in groups. And, you know, as an example, uh, I have had now four or five sessions in Arabic where I speak in Arabic uh, with a very nice guy uh, in Arabic, you know, and now I've decided I'm going to take a rest because it's a bit stressful. Um, I would rather I've decided, continue to ingest the language, become more and more familiar with the vocabulary and how it works before I go back then to doing more uh, speaking online. 
but it's my choice. It's my choice. And, you know, since we need to read and listen a lot, you know, the online language learning world includes, of course, online dictionaries. And, of course, uh, mobile uh, applic mobile uh, devices. So when I say online language learning, I don't mean that we need to sit in front of the computer. I do most of my uh, reading and listening using my iPhone and iPad. And so I am now, I know that if I just continue reading in Arabic, that I will just get better and better at it. The more I read, the better I get at it. When I first started with Arabic, I was using our sentence view in our app, doing one sentence at a time and the translation was there and I was fighting my way through it. Now I'm going in sort of a page view, uh, so I'm able to read now pages at a time and eventually I'll go to the whole text view so that I'm training myself to read more and more. And so I decided that I would rather go back to focusing on reading and acquiring vocabulary and developing familiarity with the language before I speak again with my tutor. But it's my choice. I, ha I am in charge. I can look up Arabic verbs. I can arrange, uh, uh, you know, a, a lesson via italki, for example, or I can do it on link, but I don't think we have any Arabic tutors there. And I I'm in charge. So, so it's a wonderful world. I can have online language learning as a supplement to my class learning. Uh, I can, again, I think books, for example, I bought the Asimil book, I bought this Arab Modern, but I also imported them into Link so that I could take advantage of the online dictionaries and the other functionality that we have. So online language learning, is it lends itself to any kind of blended learning, blended with a classroom experience, blended with a traditional uh, you know, language book experience, or eventually, as I've done in other languages, seeking out, you know, authentic podcasts, political podcasts, audiobooks, ebooks, all of which can be found on the web. I found my resources for Czech, for Romanian, for Greek, for Russian, for Ukrainian, all of these things, I found them online. So, you know, it, it's an amazing world, the world of online language learning, we can do with it what we want. Uh, the more we get into it, the, the more we search for content of interest to us, the more we search for grammar resources that we need, the more we search for language partners, um, or for that matter, follow people on Twitter, like Kirsten or uh, Ollie Richards or whoever, other people that we come across who are interested in languages. Eurolinguist, and there's a whole bunch that I follow. I can't remember them all right away. So this is further sort of uh, encouragement and, and uh, uh, you know, a sense of you're not alone. So this is another thing, of course, about online language learning is that you can connect with these communities of people who either speak the language you're learning or are learning the language you're learning or who are just keen on languages. So online language learning is this modern paradigm which I think has dramatically improved the opportunities for people to learn languages. And I really encourage people to take advantage of all the opportunities that are there and to share what they are doing with other people via Twitter, for example, so that they can stimulate other people to take advantage or to find resources online that are gonna help them learn languages. There you have it, online language learning from my perspective. Bye for now.